today I'm going to teach you how to use your iPod Touch 4th generation as in USB flash drive. I also know that this works with the iPhone 4S just to let you know. Okay, so all you want to do is open up Cydia and you want to go to manage sources edit add you want to add apt dot D-M-Y-T-R-O dot me. And I just want to add this source. And uh, Alright, you just want to add this source. I'm going to close it because I already have it added. I'm just going to hit cancel. And go ahead and let that source load. It is not illegal because it only holds two things in this source. I mean, yeah, in this source. Alright, so once you have added the source, you can either click on the source or go to search and you just want to search for USB drive. And Let's see if they got some details. So it basically it's just a USB mass storage emulation like you use on iPhone as a USB thumb drive. All I know is it works with Apple Touch full generation and the iPhone 4S. So you just want to go ahead and install it by hitting it in the top right and install it says modify for me because I already, already had it installed. So once you get it and respring, it should be an icon on your home screen. So you want to open it up. And if you wonder what theme I'm using, I'm using Impulse. Alright, so now, you want to click on Default, or Drive Only, or Drive Plus iTunes. You want to click on Drive Plus iTunes, because then it'll open up as a USB drive, and when you connect to your computer, iTunes will open up, so you can connect it to iTunes. If you do it on Default, the drive it will just be a drive. Drive Only will just be a drive, too. Alright, so you want to create disk, and I just want to choose the size. I have 32 gigabyte and it's saying I have 25.5 gigabytes left. So I can use all of that or I can use none. And I'm just going to hit create and I'm not going to create it. So I've already created a drive for 636 megabytes. So this is just a value name, the size. You just hit done. And you can add it and then you can delete it right there. And done. And don't say you add like 2 megabytes. Once you delete it, it should take like 2 hours for it to make show the gigabytes come back. Alright, so now once you have done all that, you need to respring and I'll be back showing you that I it works. Okay, to prove that this actually works, I'm gonna plug my iPod up to my computer. As you can see, the cable is right here. I'm just gonna plug it up to my computer and you're gonna see, oh my God, the children in the background, just excuse them. And I'm going to plug it up here, as you can see. Alright, so when I plug it up, the USB, uh, let me get it right quick, hold on. Okay, so now that it's in, look at that, value 1. So I can now use this as a... Um, USB drive and if I open the view the files obviously there's nothing in there and you can now use it you can now save stuff onto your thing so that's about it YouTube and that is how you use your Apple Touch 4th generation or iPhone 4S as an iPod as in flash drive peace out